What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part. Uh, we made it all the way to um, Boo's Mansion, only different music was playing now in this part. Before we go into Boo's Mansion, we gotta, we gotta get a couple of these. So uh, we're gonna get a, cup, a few strange leaves and uh, we're just gonna get a few of these, leave the screen then come back and get a few of these so um, we can put them in the shop. I think we're gonna need maybe three of them, maybe four of them. We'll, we'll just put four of them in the shop just to play it safe. I don't remember how many of these we need, but we're gonna need a lot of these for tasty recipes. We'll just get one more special and um, get the uh, that's the last that's the last strange leaf. So now we're gonna go inside and uh, now the last part was only like ten minutes. I'll make up for it. This is gonna be a long part, let's just say, because there's other stuff we can do. So, um, we have to basically go to the top and, uh, we have to basically go to the top and, uh, see the star spirit and, uh, that Lady Bo has. However, hey, did I startle you? You wanna go up to the third floor, don't you? Well, I'm afraid you'll have to go find whatever's missing from this frame. If you manage to find it, I'll let you go upstairs. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Bo is such a harsh boo testing her guests like this. So I guess um, we could kind of go in here to see if we can find it. Mario, you have come. If you want this record, you must guess who holds it. The Lady Bo would be very angry if we let him get in too easily, fellow booze. Do your best like we practice. You have to kind of watch where it goes. But I know which boo it is, so just watch the where that boo, particular boo is and uh... Hey, hey, booze and booze, who's got it? Choose, shoes, and it's this one. No, boo hoo! You you guessed right. Go on, take this. Oh, boo! Lady Bo's gonna be really flip out on us. And that's the first clue. We got a record, a record of upbeat music. How can you play this? I guess we have to find a record player somewhere, or a phonograph, or whatever it's called. Okay, so there's one in this room. And if we talk to this boo. I'm so bored, bored. I know the Lady Bo ordered me to stay here for how long? We get the record. Tap A to play the record. You gotta have rhythm. Don't press it too fast or too slow. If you press B while it's playing, the record will stop. So, um, you, you gotta get it towards the middle. And this is gonna get the Boo to start dancing. Once he's uh, a little distracted, just um, go and towards that chest. And we get the weight. Oh no! Lady Bo gave me one job to guard that treasure chest. She's gonna punch me so bad she finds out about this. Oh well, I may still be okay. <laughs> it's not like you can get anywhere without knowing how to use that weight. Anyway, so. Pulled in Nazareth, was feeling about half bastard. I just need to find a place where I can lay my head. Oh, anyway, now I get that in my system. That this is what we use the weight for, by the way. The weight's gonna basically make this chandelier still. see a reference but knowing how she uh made that really awful movie music i do not want to but anyway enough of that so we're gonna go in here and uh we can't get out of this and uh there's a chest though more booze Mario, welcome. If you want these boots, you must guess who holds them. The Lady Bow will be very angry if you let me get these too easily, fellow boos. Do your best like we practiced.
And once again, you gotta watch to see where it lands. Hey, hey, booze and booze. Who's got them two shoes? And it's, um... One. And we get these super boots. The attack power of Mario's jump increases. And now you can do the super jump by pressing A again while in air. While in the air. No, Boo! You guessed right. Go on, take them. Oh, Boo, Ladybug's really gonna flip out on us. And also, there's going to be a Boo right here. There's a hidden floor panel very near here. Star piece is underneath the floor panel. Press A will jump in. Boost of luck, can you find it? And, um, you can find it right here. There's gonna be a lot of these scattered throughout the game, so, um, we're gonna point out, we're gonna get every one of these, and, um,. There's a maple syrup, very nice. And this is how we ex and get out of the room, and um... And we get in here. And also, there's an item shop, if ever. Lady Bo told me not to sell any items to Mario. You're him. So yeah, we can't exactly we can't exactly check our items yet, so uh we we'll might have to do that later. But there is a super shroom, so we'll grab that. I guess there's not really too much we can do and uh we I guess we just have to we're getting a little closer to finding the portrait, which is what we need to get to the third floor, and uh you know, we're making progress, and uh, I really like this part. First, I want to get an item right here. I need to get rid of my item. Let's get rid of the uh, mushroom. We don't need that anymore. All right, if we're going this right here, we got a little throwback to 8-Bit Mario and uh, Super Mario Brothers, and it also plays the same music as uh, when you wait too long on the chapter screen. That's a nice little throwback. We are going to need Paracarry for this next part, though. So we might as well switch him. However, if we go over here, we get the Boo's portrait. So I guess, um, I guess we now we can go basically here and um, get tackle these things as a star piece. So make sure to grab that. We are, however, going to need Bombette for the next part. So, uh, Bomb and, uh, yeah, let's go back up to the third floor. Now you may be wondering, why did I say this was going to be a really long part of this playthrough? Well, let's just say there's a cert there's a certain amount of things we can do out of this area that we can only get once. There's some scenes that we can only see at this point in the game after the game the super boots. Where is the boost portrait? Phew, oh, that feels better. It's, feel it's nice to be back inside my frame after so long. All right, then. I'll help you out to get to the third floor, okay? Jump towards the drawing, and I'll take care of the rest. Say hello to Bo for me. All right, so, um... <laughs> you finally arrived. You took your sweet time, huh? I was testing you to see if you live up to your reputation. How are the re the tests, huh? Tough? My name is Bo. I'm glad to finally meet you. I'm Bootler, the butler. I'm Lady Bo's humble servant. The reason I asked you here is that I need a favor. Bootler, give him the rundown. Of course, my lady. Mario, you do know the area near here is called Gusty Gulch. A hill rises to the top of the gulch, and upon it sits this castle of Tubba Blubba. He's a monster, and he eats us, ghosts. Booze are his favorite food. Many friends have been eaten. We've tried attacking the evil fiend to save our friends, but Tubba Blubba is far too strong for us Booze to slow him down even slightly. He seems invincible. That's why he's known as the Invincible Tubba Blubba. There is hope, however. If the rumors are true, then Tabula has a secret that he closely guards. And that secret is probably something that relates to his weak point. So, Mario, I want you to find out his secret and defeat him. You'll do it, won't you? 
Of course, you'll get a reward for doing us the service. If you beat Tubba Blubba Up, I'll let you have this. Hmm, Mario, I'm sorry we meet in such a dire situation. My name is Skolar. I escaped from Tubble Bubba's castle, but I was in quite a weakened state when I made outside as well. I couldn't go back to the sky at first. I tried to head for Shooting Star Summit to make the leap to Star Haven, but I became lost in the forest. While hunting for a way out, I was captured by Booz, and now here I am. I don't know what to say. What do you think, Mario? Not such a bad deal, is it? You would have to have you have to have, you would have had to fight Tabba Blubba to save the Star Spirit anyway, right? This way you'll help us booze too. Besides, I'm going with you. I'll I'll help like you like no one else can. My lady, what did you say just now? You at Tabba Blubba's castle? Quite out of the question. I simply cannot allow you to put yourself in such danger. Still your tongue, Bootler. I've seen too much stuff in Gaza like Tabba Blubba. I wish to see him punished with my own two eyes. Besides, Mario will need me. There's no way he can reach that castle without my powers. Oh, well, awesomely, I absolutely will accompany you. It's my sworn duty that no harm really falls you. The ancestors demand it. I will be at your side always. You stop that nonsense. I am not a child anymore. I'll be fine by myself. You wait here for my return. But, lady... Uh... Is this all right, Mario? I'll join up with you until we oust Tubba Blubba. And Bo joined the party, like it or not. Press C down to have her make you both become transparent so no one will notice you. Well, your transparent objects go right through you. But if you move or press C down, she won't. you won't be transparent anymore. It'll return to normal. Well, in battle, she can all slap at every silly with a smack attack. Or use out of sight to make you both become transparent so you can elude enemy attacks. Okay then, Tabalo is going down. Wahahaha! <laughs> now, under normal circumstances, I would allow just um, I would allow just to end the part at this. However, we got a lot more to do. We still have to go to the shops because, I mean, thankfully, I think I just switched a bow. But um, let's just push a bow play on the safe side. But um. We're just gonna um, throw some of these items in the shop so we can use these as tasty recipes later on. We're gonna go to uh, we're gonna check um, we're gonna check all four strange leaves and the apple as well. We're just gonna eat all these strange leaves and um, so yeah, there's nothing we really need to check. So um, I'm actually gonna buy a life drum. We've never really seen a life stream yet, but um, how a life stream works is that if you go down to ten, if you actually faint in battle, instead of getting a game over, it, the life stream will activate and you'll get 10 HP. But um, anyway, so now that we got that out of our system, so um, we're actually gonna switch to a better partner member because um, we're actually gonna go back to Toad Town to see what we can do to see some things we can do with the super boots. As well as um, some cutscenes we can only see at this point in the game. So, um, yeah, we're pretty much going to. Um... However. No, eh, bugs, get them off me. I'm lost in a freaky forest, so scared. Eek! Oh, Mario, I was thinking, I mean, aha! Boy, you're unlucky running me again. Why, Junior Troopa, have you been crying? Did you get lost in there? Hey, shut up, shut up. I'm not a lost child. I'm not, I'm your worst nightmare. Here comes the pain. Now, this Junior Troopa fight is a, is a step up in difficulty compared to the last few, the couple. Don't think I was vulnerable as I was before. Check this out. More power. Yeah, he can fly now, so we can't use hammer attacks on him. So, um, yeah. This is actually the first fight I'm going to rely on Danger Trials. I did a badge swap off screen and uh, basically did a power rounds. He's going to have two whole points of defense. So, um, this is also my first time showing off power bounce. But, um, yeah, we're going to charge with Goombario. So, um, we're going to charge until our FP runs out. And we're also going to luck out because, um, let's just say our, um, Let's just say we have zap tabs, which also damages him. So we... Now, 
Now we're gonna do one more charge and a couple more attacks and he should um, be, we should be in peril. This is gonna be the first fight we're gonna rely on danger strats to beat. And uh, one more charge. And the next turn we should have him beat. We, the reason we bought these two life charms, in case my mathematical certainly is not correct. Yeah, notice the uh, attack that we just got, even though we didn't get a good power bounce. Oh! I just cheated up uh, using a life charm. I just cheated having to use a life shrum. I bought those life shrums thinking I was going to need them, but uh, nope. Alright, so that's not it. So uh, we're going to go back to Toad Town and um, thankfully it's only a short distance. Um, oh, I made it out of the forest. I can kiss this ground. Yahoo! Anyway, so what we're gonna do now, we're, there's a couple things we can do in Toad Town, like this right here. A couple things we can do in Toad Town, like this right here. So, um. First of all, I think if I remember correctly, there's a taste tea recipe that has the uh, apple. We're gonna get a couple of taste tea recipes, so there's gonna be one. I hit check instead of claim, but um, there's gonna be one I think that has the lime, but we'll double check if it's the lemon or the lime, but um, no, I'm, I'm doing this wrong. I'm not entering the shop properly, so um, so we're gonna use the apple, and we're gonna claim the uh, we're gonna claim the lemon in case I'm not correct. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get a couple of tasty recipes because um, well, there's another way you can get, it's either the lime or the lemon, that's another way you can get tasty tonics. So first we're gonna use the uh, lemon to see if I'm correct or wrong on this. Yeah, that gets us the tasty tonic, so um, yeah, and then we're gonna use the apple. That's just a couple more tasty recipes to get out of the way. And this gets us, a, and the apple gets us a super soda. So um, yeah, that's two more tasty recipes we can get out of the way. So um, we might as well put, might as well get, might as well put the uh, lemon back in the uh, back in the shop because we need it later. Let's just sell both the tasty recipes because we don't need them. Yeah, and um, let's uh, let's just check the uh, let's just check the line. No, let me just double check see if I need any more um, items for tasty recipes. So um, I think we should be good. I think we should be good for now in terms of uh, tasty recipes. So um, yeah, so we're going to um. We're gonna first of all, actually, we could heal. Um, we're technically going somewhere that requires getting healed. Oh, Chuck Wismo! Chuck Wismo! Chuck Wismo! We are absolutely doing some more Chuck Wismo action. What color is Bowser in there? Red. Anyway, so what we're gonna do next is um well let's first get rid of zap tap because I don't think I'm gonna need I don't think I'm gonna need it as much as what we could get do with this upcoming thing. If we talk to Merlon, oh it's you Mario, what fortune tell timing? I had a dream last night and not a chance Oracle spoke to me. It vo it's, its voice was heavenly. He keep going around and around the red palm tree in the desert town dry dry outpost. Something good will happen, so it's 
said the voice of my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense at all to me. In fact, thinking about it, it makes me so uneasy that I can't sleep at night. If you find out what it means, please tell me. Anyway, so we cannot do this before until before we get the super boots. So let's just keep that in mind. I am gonna do a bad. I'm, I'm gonna do a bad shuffle quickly. I'm gonna get rid of power bounce and replace and replace it with quake hammer. Yeah, that should be good. And now we're gonna go to um, the our house. Michael also check our check out our progress. See how we've done. So um. If we check it out, we see um we see we've collected 36 badges, 41 star pieces, eight taste tea recipes, 17 Chuck Quizmo quizzes, and uh yeah, that's pretty much it. And we already let's see what we have in the post -mod. We don't have anything for Mario, so we're first gonna we're first gonna get healed. However, we can only do it at this part of the game. If we try to do this and have to get with the super boots. I wonder how Mario is doing his quest. Uh, Mario! Uh oh, I mean, never mind. How'd you find this place? So, yeah, we can, we can discover Luigi in his diary. So, um. Anything wrong? Nothing suspicious in the basement was there. Anyway, so that's what we can really do, and uh, however, we are gonna go to Dry Dry Outpost. We're gonna go to Dry Dry Outpost and do a few things there. This is gonna be a long fucking video, let's just say. Oh, by the way, I forgot something. This is, this is what I mean by a long fucking video. I know it's around here. Oh yeah, I know it's around here. I know it's around here. Yeah, we get a star piece. And there's also I forgot that there's one, there's one to the to there's one to the west of Toad Town. Might as well go grab that. It's not gonna be too long a distance, so I won't cut out the footage. But um, this is one west of Goomba Village. But we can we can use the pipe for that. But there's one over here. Yeah, that's another star piece. Um, there's a lot of star pieces now that we can only get with the super boots. But yeah, it puts our star piece all at 13, so, um... So yeah, well, let's just say, um, there's gonna be a lot of- There's gonna be so, a lot of star pieces we can- We can only get this point of the game, so, um... There was already that one. There's also one south of Toe Town, I just remembered. So we might as well grab the one south of Toe Town. And I also just remembered that there's a couple of letters we need to deliver, so we might as well go grab those. So um yeah, this will essentially be a lot of side quests that we can really do this point in the that we can really pretty much only do this point in the game. So um and if we go, um, we go to, if we go to Merlon, all right, here, Paracarry's going to deliver a letter. And we get a star piece out of that. So, um, yeah, we're just going to be collecting lots and lots of star pieces. However, there's a lot, there's another letter we need to live, deliver to this guy right here. You're Musty, correct? The name's Eric and I live alone, is that what you And, yeah. And if we get one, we can basically, um... We just have one, we get a letter for Coover and Koopa Village, since we're basically, we, we would be heading in the direction of Koopa Village, we might as well get that letter. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is, um, first we're gonna go to Koopa Village. First, let's go to Goomba Village, see if we can get Chuck Quizmo to spawn. Can we get him to spawn? Can we get him to spawn? Plus, there, are, there is a star piece we need to get in this area, so, um... It's better now than never to get Chuck Quizmo to spawn. There he is! 
There's good old Chuck Quizmo. How many stars would you have to save? Seven. We've correctly answered 18 questions, so I'd say we're almost a third of the way there with Chuck Quiz. We're almost a third of the way through the game. We're pretty much over a third of the way through the game, but however, there's another, there's gonna be another um, one of the hidden star pieces over here, so we might as well go grab it. It's gonna be a br very brief detour, but um, we go over here. Is it over here? I could've sworn it was over here. There it is. Can I get the damn star piece? Right there it is. Now we have uh, 18 star pieces right now. If we get 25, we can get a really fantastic badge also. Anyway, so in, can we get Chuck Wiz can we get Ch Chuck Wizmo's spin one more time? Let's get Chuck let's try to get Chuck Wizmo's spin one more time. Let's try it. Is he not gonna spawn? Is he not gonna spawn? I don't think he's gonna spawn. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna spawn. I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, he's not gonna spawn. So um let's go to let's then go to Cuba Village and deliver a couple of the letters that we need to deliver there. Let's just uh, do that really quickly. No Chuck Wismo here either, but um, go to him. Here, Coover, correct? The name is Terry I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Hey, thanks. You came at a good time. I was just going to send a letter myself. Would you look at this? It's a letter from Musty. The two of us are always thinking about the same lines. One of my favorite fishing pals. I'll tell you what. If you don't fish, you should. What a hobby. I think I was just... I would have sent a letter to all my fishing pals about a trip. Once we have a good place set, I'll write up the letter back to Musty. So, can you send this along for me? Thank you very much. So a friend of mine who's always fishing at the Toad Town Port. It's easy to find. Thank you again. Let a fish meal at the Toad Town Port. However, if we go here, we have a we have a lot of Mort Tea in Cooper Village. However, this only gets us a star piece. So um, however, there's gonna be um actually there's another star piece right in this area. So um, where is it again? There it is. We're getting star pieces like crazy this episode. Now we have the super boots, but um, yeah, five more we can pretty much get the uh. Now I remember there's a star piece also to the east of Cooper Village. So uh, just go grab. Let's just go grab that quickly while trying to avoid a battle. Wow. Um. Well, I killed them. Parker, you finish him. Yeah, we're not gonna get any X. This is a if you if you're too late in the game, to fight earlier enemies. You're not gonna get XP out of this. But however, yeah, there's one star piece over here, so I might as well go grab that now. Um, I need to dry. I'll just um. Actually, I won't cut to Dry Dry Outpost because we're going in the direction of Dry Dry Outpost. Oh, there's Chuck Quizmo! There he is. I was where I was wondering where my boy Chuck Quizmo was. What's the name of that? Koopa Coot. We got 19 questions so far, closing it on 20. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do now is go to um, Dry Dry Outpost and run around that palm tree. No Chuck Quizmo, unfortunately. I did look, I did look. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? 
What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. What? You're joking. You believe some crazy dream? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said there's a house with a whirling roof and a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times inside the house, something good will happen to you. Ah, uh, help with the whirling roof as Zag just said, ha. Huh. I don't take dreams seriously. So it looks like he got something similar. So, um, there's gonna be another, um, there's gonna be another hidden star piece in Dry Dry Outpost. It's on top of this building, so we might as well go grab that. I don't remember where it is, though. That's the key. I think it's around here. Yeah, there it is. So we're doing, we're getting star piece like crazy. We have 23, almost enough for the, the next badge. And there's gonna be a couple of star pieces right next, to, right west of, uh, Dry Dry Outpost, so by then we'll have enough for, uh, to get the badge we want. I'm trying to remember where it is. I think it's in, I think it's the cactus area. We are absolutely running away from this. This is not where we want to go. It's, it's where a cactus is. That's yeah, around. It's around. It's here. And we went over here. So um, grab that star piece. So um, also we're gonna go to the very west because we're we'll f by by this point we'll finally be able to hit that tree that I was hyping about in the chapter two portion. I did not mean to go here. So um. Yeah, we can finally, for the life of us, hit this tree. And forget this. I learned a Goompa in Goompa Village, so I might as well go grab that. And I guess I'll cut to uh, Goomba Village. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, now back at Goomba Village. Oh, Chuck Wismo! Chuck Wismo! Chuck Wismo! Chuck Wismo! Alright, uh, how many Bob Bombs am I buying? Um, let's see. I think it was, f it was four. So we've now broken, uh, we've now broken 20 questions and we, um, also have enough star pieces for that badge, which will be great. So we're going to go straight to Merle and buy it. You're, you're Goomba, correct? The name's Jack Carey. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Now what could this be? A Koopa Koot? Eh, I have a bad feeling about this. I'll read it later. It's probably got some the old Koot's usual backside gossip. He really needs to get out more. It's the point of sending all these gossipy letters, huh? Anyway, pretty busy. Thank you for letting this. Why don't you make this a token my thanks? We got a star piece. So, um, yeah, I guess we can go back to, uh, Merlon and, um, I swear to God, I think this particular part is going to break the 40 minute barrier. We're doing a lot of side quests. Now we have the super boots. So we're gonna go to Merlon's house. Thankfully, this video is almost over. I keep forgetting we don't have enough badges. We don't have enough. I think we go. Let's try going to the post office. See if we have anything to read. We have one for Goombario. We have Goompa. Dear Goombario, how goes on the adventure with Mario? Is it fun? Are you being a brave Goomba? Remember to relish your time out in the wild world. Grow wise from your travels. I wish to the stars that your adventure will prove to be a fruitful one. If you can drop in on soul folks now again, I'm gonna miss you terror. Goomba misses you terribly. I'm gonna look for. I'm looking forward to seeing you as a grown up, Goomba. We're looking for more letters. We got one from Paracarry, and we got one from Wacka. Wacko! This is Wacka! Mr. Paracarry for my place is in the shadows. I always see you flying above Mount Rugged. It looks like so much fun flying on a sunny day. Tell me about it sometime. My wish to the stars that you never fall from the sky. Wacka from Mount Rugged. And, uh, no, that's all we got in terms of our letters. If we got, if we got letters, um... I guess we have one for the for the fish mail at the Toad Town Pier, so, um... We'll do that moment. We'll do that one. So, uh, we'll go to the Toad Town Pier and, uh, deliver that letter. And, 
and uh, we might as well um, go here and... Oh my god! I have gotten really good Chuck Wismo luck this playthrough. Where's the house explorer? Colorado Cooper Village. I've never encountered Chuck Wismo in this area. Address to a person fishing at the port. Ah, oh, this must be you. The name's Chuck Curry, deliver letters. Um, I believe I want to hear a moment. And we got one for him. Hmm, what's this then? Shiver me timbers. Word from Coover. Must see said he wrote a letter too. Everyone's gotta be the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip. Did you come along, Mario? Yar, that reminds me. I got a favor to ask. Could you deliver this to, um, while the Cooper Trooper who asked you to bring this letter to me? Coover's the name. So we have to go back to Coover. See you guys then. Anyway, back at Cooper Village. Oh my god! been this lucky with Chuck Wismo spawning. What is the destination of the train which departs the Mount Rugged? I swear to God, how have I been this good with Chuck Wismo placements? That's like 22 questions we've gotten so far. Like, we're like a third of the- we're like more than a third of the way done. Now we're gonna go to Coover. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, it's a cool thing. So, it's for my pals. So, I'm going to answer my last letter. Thanks for the speedy delivery. I'm not going to send letters to the whole gang. It would be great meeting up with all the guys I've finished from I've already written one. Here, you can take it. It's to Mr. E, who lives in the desert. He's most likely hanging in front of the Toad Town house. He wears a blue turban. You'll most like you'll probably notice him right off the bat. Thanks for everything. So we have to go to Dry Dry Outpost. But thankfully it's not too far because we have the pipe system. So we'll just make a brief we'll just make a quick trip to Dry Dry Outpost. And uh let's go from there. Now Coover said he was wearing a blue turban, and um Yeah, I didn't get lucky again. Chuck Wismo doesn't always spawn, but, um... You're Mr. E, correct? Name track are a little letters, and, um... Gee, thanks. Oh, looks like an order from Cooper Village. My job is for everything things from Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. Hey, by the way, would you do me a favor and deliver this letter the next time you're in Toad Town? It's Miss Chi. She lives there. She's one of the three amazingly beautiful sisters. She's normally chatting with her sisters in front of the dojo. Thanks a lot. Miss Learn Miss T near the Toad Town Dojo. So I guess we're gonna make a brief trip there. Oh yeah, this video might be a fucking hour. Sure. But, uh, Mr. E essentially said that, uh, Miss T is one of the, uh, three beautiful sisters, except I never always remember which one is her Miss T, so I'm thinking it's this one. And I was correct. Another letter duly received. The postman's job is never done. Who is this from? I don't think I recognize the return address. Oh, I'm always getting love letters from strangers. I'm super popular. But enough about me. I'm so lucky I came. you came to sign with me. Do me a favor. I want you to deliver this letter to the shop owner, Dry Dry Outpost. I ordered lots of things from the desert, so they have much, much good stuff. Not easy staying this beautiful. It's, uh, it takes work. Can we please deliver this? Thanks. We have the little miles of the Dry Dry Outpost shop. So, uh, how many letters do we have left? Um... The little Mauser at the uh, Dry Dry Outpost show, so I'm um, do that. I guess this, um, I think, um, I think there's only a couple more we can, like, possibly do at this point in the game, so, um, yeah, so maybe this video won't break an hour, but it's still gonna be pretty damn long for a part. Let's go to the, let's go to the, why did I switch to Cooper? Yeah, 
let's get Paracurry back in the party and um Yeah, no Chuck Wismo. No. Alright, so and where's the next one going? Thanks, yes, yeah, it's an order sheet from one of my regulars. Good deal. Swarm of best customers, I'm sure things all the time. If health and beauty are what you're after, you can't beat desert lemons and limes. You can find them in the cloaces, so if you make a juice with these things. Mm, all right. Oh, hang on, I almost forgot. Can you do me a favor? Please leave this letter to a boo named Frankly. Frankly lives in a mansion way for, out in, so yeah. This is pretty much all that we can really do at this point in the game, so we're almost done. However, I just realized that in order for completionist purposes, I need to go and get another lemon. So, um, I need to go get another, um... Alrighty, so car sorry for the cut footage. My speakers went out in my mixing software, so, um... Yeah, voice meter just loves to have spammy with like advertisements and it causes my mixing speakers to go off. But um, I uh, got a lemon off screen because we're gonna need we're gonna need it for a different taste tea recipe later on in the game. So um, yeah, we might as well deliver that last letter and um, we'll be good. This will be the almost the end of the video. So um, so however. Um, let's, we're gonna switch to Cooper, so, um... These are new enemies! These are, um... These are, um... Dark Koopas. They're like, the Koopas are only stronger, and they can also cause dizziness, but we, I think we have feeling fine on. And also, they, uh... It's best to have Quake Hammer with these enemies, because, uh, they go up. They, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, they go down, so, um... As long as you just keep spamming Quake Hammer, you should be fine. And these are very strong enemies at this point in the game, so because of that, like, um, we're gonna be using, um, we're gonna get a lot of star points for this. Yeah, we got 12 star points for that, and that's almost, uh, we're almost, like, we're two-thirds of the way to the level up, come to think of it. Yeah, so now we're going to, uh, Quake Hammer. We're gonna Quake Hammer, then Power Shell. I could use Power Bomb, but that takes more FP. So yeah, we have enough for uh, one more, so um... Oh, yes! We might get a level up, actually. One more will get us a level up. Yes, I love this. Oh wow, we got a power block. And we, um... First of all, let's use the power block. And we're unfortunately gonna have to use our maple syrup. Oh shit, we might be in trouble. We have a couple of life drums though, so we're not too we're not too much, but um we're not too hurting, but um Yeah, that'll be uh three damage. I think they have like eight HP, so um oh this is a problem. Uh yeah, we're dazed. So yeah, good thing I bought these life drums. All just days, Mario. I think we're gonna have to use one of our life drums. Finally, one attack so we can use our life drum. God, that was fucking ridiculous. Anyway, so now we're going to use Quake Hammer. And one more Shell Toss. Problem is, we, 
we don't, we're not very well in terms of items, but, um, yeah, so they're almost taken out. So, um, we're going to get a level up out of this. So thank God. And let's just say we are absolutely upgrading BP and I'm also taking a, I'm also doing a badge, a badge check. So, um, we're going to get, um, we have eight possible badge points. So let's, uh, first of all, um, get, uh, I never got the badge. We'll do that in the next part. So, um, we're going to do a little bit of a badge check. We're going to get, uh, let's get power bounce equipped and let's get, uh, down pound equipped and uh get zap tap equipped if we take this pipe it leads us all the way back to where we were before so i think it's an appropriate time to end this part so next time paper mario we are going to be going to gussie gulch see you guys then